Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am currently in Brighton, which is very weird to be back. I went to Madonna last night and it was incredible at the O2 opening night. And I'm going again next week, but I didn't want to stay in London for the entire time because London is expensive. So I decided to come down to Brighton. So I'm back where I started um, and I've only been in Manchester for a week. So a week in Manchester, a week in Brighton. <laughs> um, so I'm staying in a hotel. So I'm in my Mac. I'm, on my, I'm not in my MacBook. Well, I'm in my MacBook if you're watching on a MacBook. Um, I'm on my MacBook. I'm on hotel Wi-Fi. We're going with the flow. So I just wanted to come on here and say hello and have some fun. But what we're going to do today is, hi Madonna, welcome to Manchester. Thank you. If you know that reference, we're like that. Uh, what we're going to do today is I posted a video a couple days ago where we watched Peter Mon expose the living shit out of Shane Dawson and Trisha Paytas. And he, more so Shane, but he talks about an encounter. I would go watch that for context, but I'll try to, yes, yeah, second channel will be pinned down below. Um, trying to like condense it very much so. The YouTuber Amelia Fart and Peter Mon met up to film a collab. Peter Mon messaged Trisha Paytas. Amelia Fart's full thing was that she was obsessed with Trisha Paytas online. Peter Mon wanted to organize a meetup where Amelia Fart and Trisha Paytas would meet and Peter Mon would kind of create the moment and it'd be really sweet, really lovely. Peter was doing it with really good intentions, just being a sweet moment. Trisha agreed to it. Then Amelia is with Peter and Amelia says, I'm going to go over to Shane's house later because I'm meeting Trisha or something like that. And Peter goes, oh, Trisha says she can't meet up with Peter that night because she's really busy. Whereas Trisha went to Shane's house to meet up with Amelia, even though she was going to meet up with Amelia for the first time with Peter. But Shane was going to make a big video out of it. So Trisha went with Amelia to Shane's and Peter got not invited to Shane Dawson's because Shane Dawson accused Peter Mon of having beef with Trisha Paytas, which wasn't true. So then Trisha was really stressed and didn't want Peter to turn on her. So Trisha then did this. Hello soldiers. So I'm just gonna take a brief pause in the video to let you know that today's video very excitingly is sponsored by Adam and Eve yet again. So you are aware we have been with Adam and Eve now for like three years. And the reason for that is because you guys have continued supporting the deal that we have. In turn, you're getting some really good stuff out of it. And also at the same time, it is the biggest support of my channel. So I want to say if you have ever supported this, thank you so much because it is basically one of the main reasons that I get to continue to make videos. And shout out to Adam and Eve for always standing by me. I really appreciate it. Specifically this summer, they stood by me through everything and... I've always been really proud to stand behind them, but them standing behind me, really, I really appreciated it. So if you go to adamandeve.com and use code ADAM50 at the checkout, you will get 50%, which is half off, one item and free shipping in the US and Canada, shipping everywhere else. I'm an international babe. They have us as well. Now, they have 90 day no hassle returns. My favorite thing is they're 50 years in the game, over, over 50 years in the game, by the way. And a bunch of their proceeds goes to helping fighting the spread of HIV all around the world, which is, I'm just really proud to stand behind them. Um, so yeah, 90 day no hassle return, 24 seven customer service. So even if you don't like your product, which you will, you have the 90 day window. It's literally 50% off one item and free shipping in US and Canada, shipping everywhere else, like I said, on adamandeve.com using the code ADAM50. If you go over there, there's things for people who are in relationships, who are single. They also just have a lot of day-to-day -day products that are really great. They have a lot of fun games over there as well, which I really enjoy. They have a lot of self-care things. So if you wanna go over to adamandeve.com, you will see the extensive list of what they have. Go treat yourself. Go treat yourself. We're almost at the end of the year. Come on. Christmas presents for yourself or for a lover or a friend or an admirer are always um, good to have. And with that deal, it'll help out. And in turn, it is the biggest support of my channel and you get some really cool stuff out of it. So thank you so much, Adam and Eve. I really appreciate you. And yeah, the code is adamandeve.com. Adam 50, 50% 50 off one item and free shipping. Shout out Adam and Eve. On with the video. Which is a collab with Peter. So Peter said that this came out of the, the tensions of Trisha basically wanting to do something nice to Peter, feeling bad that, you know, she didn't do the Amelia thing with Peter, but instead did it with Shane. 
And by the way, if I'm looking over here, all of my setup is over here. So I'm not just ignoring you or looking at myself. I'm trying to look at my setup. Um, and this is also where the chat is. So if I'm looking over here, by the way, I'm not looking at myself. I'm looking at the chat and I'm looking at the video. Um, so this video was what then came from that encounter. Now in my video, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe that they filmed this collab. I can't find it anywhere. Peter Mon, as always, came through and texted me the video and was like, hey, it's not deleted. And so I have never seen this before. And I'm very, very, very excited to watch how Peter Mon and Trisha Paytas interact. And also, I'm this is four years ago. And also, I'm very interested more so to figure out if it's really awkward because Trisha is basically doing, and this is no shade to Peter and no shade to Trisha, but Trisha is basically doing this because she was not wanting Peter to think bad of her because she did the thing that Peter organized with Shane and on and Peter got uninvited. So we're going to get into this and I'm very excited for this. We're not even going to speed this up because you know what? I'm here just to enjoy this as well. So I hope you're all doing well. Let's get into it. Shout out to Peter Mon. I will link the video down below. Go support. Shout out Peter. And God, I'm so excited to hit play. And he was wearing the icon hat years and years ago. Of course. God, I just can't wait to see how these people interact. Are you nervous? No, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. Do you edit or no? You don't edit. No, and I, okay. may, I may put this in here. Okay, no, I love it. Me <laughs> Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Beast. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now. I kind of want to sing Showtime so bad. Okay. It's my famous song. You want to do that? Um, yes, yeah, start it. Do you, oh, you don't even know. Big yes, fan. I do. do you Big fan. Big fan. Big fan. You get it started. Um, I don't even know. I sing it in my show. Obsessed with Trisha's outfit here. <laughs> Um, oh no, <laughs> when I put the hat on, this is the boy part. <laughs> is it shallow? I don't know. Do you not know the words? If you get me started, I do. I'm so bad with words and songs, but once you get me started, you I You are like not a real gay. I feel like every gay knows shallow. <laughs> Everyone. Within 52 seconds, we have Trisha Paytas going, I don't think you're a real gay. <laughs> I know, things at all. But Trisha was during this year, I remember she identified as a gay man. So Trisha was the gay man here, apparently. All the time, I'm always like, okay. <laughs> So yesterday when I was filming with Amelia and you met up with her last- Oh, are we getting immediately- I didn't think they were going to address it. Okay, Peter. I didn't think they were going to address the Amelia thing. So Peter said when I was filming with Amelia last night and you just filmed with her. Oh shit, he brought it up. Fierce. Last night, yeah. we were sitting around and we kept on singing that song. And I go, this is not because of Lady Gaga. This is because of Trisha. True. In fact, so I know that, that one did well. I mean, I'm feeling it. Oh my God, it. I love, I love that video. Me and, uh... Me and Jason actually have one on iTunes. We actually did a cover of it for real to go really? on iTunes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so get... Not Jason Nash. I forgot that this was that era. And I forgot the amount of times that Trisha forced Jason to do those songs and music videos. You know what? To give Moses his flyers, Moses goes along with absolutely everything. And that is the right person for her because Jason was forced to do those. I thought maybe you were looking at karaoke in here. What? When you were like reading it. I was, yeah, I put my computer up there. And you were reading karaoke. Yeah, well, I don't read I'm it. I'm not fake gay. <laughs> I am a fake gay. <laughs> Remember when I came out like years ago? <laughs> okay, this is, we don't want any drama. We said no drama on this video. Can I just say I wanted to be gay so bad. I like, I still want to, I really, I was talking about this with Amelia last night. I was like, I was Oh, she goes, I was talking about this with Amelia last night. See, whenever we met up with Amelia and didn't invite you. <laughs> uh, to be a lesbian, I would. It's just like. Like, you get so much criticism for saying that. Like, even, like, when you wore the shirt the other day. Like, what? Time and place. And you did it on the kitchen floor. She goes, I would love to be gay. I would love to be a lesbian. Be one then. Like, I mean, lesbian pride. Like, be one then. Like, the gay oh, shirt. Yeah, people, yeah. people didn't like it. Yeah. So, okay. I just like when you say... Like Okay, well, what is that about, like, for you? Um, I don't know. I just, like, I just think they're just so much, they're just so much more open. Like, I recently was friends with all the straight people, and they're just so, like, judgmental and close-minded. And when I'm, like, around my game... Is this Vlog Squad tea? Friends, they literally don't care. Like, I can, like, make out with a toilet, and they're like, we love you. You know what I mean? Like, they don't care. I don't know what it is. They're just... Trisha Paytas wants to be a lesbian because when she's around lesbians, they allow her to lick toilets without criticism. Ugh. 
ticks every box, doesn't it, Trisha, being a lesbian? Oh, more Have out of you my ever bed. made out with a toilet? Yeah, I did it in my video today right before you came over. I did a little toilet bowl <laughs> spoken word. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that I posted it already? I was like up and up. I get up at like 5 a.m. and like start filming videos. She oh my god, this one texts <laughs> so early. Yesterday she texted me at like 8 o'clock. Yeah. Is that this early? <laughs> I was yes. like four yesterday. <laughs> um, okay, so just to get this started, this is the worst intro ever in the entire So she <laughs> was nice. She reached out to me. I feel like this intro is exactly what I thought this video was going to be. And you know what? I'm loving it. <laughs> she was nice enough to reach out to me and be like, I want a podcast between these two. I want to see that. Um, well, I was trying to like coordinate like an Amelia thing, but little did I know that was going on behind the scenes. I didn't know. <gasps> oh, okay, Peter. Oh, he brought it up. Well done, Peter. Oh my God. So Trish is going to play dumb, I guess, and say she didn't know it was happening. But thank God Peter brought it up. Good for him. Either. And she didn't know either because I was going to surprise Shane didn't know either that he stole the idea from Peter and then did it for a video. Her with you, and then Shane was also having her come over. And so, and then Shane was like, Well, I don't know, like, are you upset with Trisha? Because I was going to have you over, yeah. but I didn't know if you're upset with Trisha. And I'm like, I'm not upset with Trisha. And Ooh, Trisha's filling the blank here with fake laughter. Ooh, Trisha's nervous. Trisha's nervous. Trisha's nervous. Trisha's nervous. I have no plans, but yeah, now I have plans. Yeah. And so, but they all work out. Next the way time we can all do a little. This other thing is, is like, I didn't know when to surprise Amelia because I already met her and I haven't met you. So I was kind of like, oh, that's a weird way to plan a surprise. So anyway, it's all worked out. I'm glad it happened this way. Me too. Because I, I, like got, I got to come to, um, I will say, the safest apartment I've ever been to <laughs> in my entire life. You know what? Good for him for bringing this up because a lot of people, when they would meet up with these people, wouldn't stay true to how they feel or stay true to if they have a strong opinion of something out of fear of coming across rude or whatever. And Peter doesn't come across rude here and he's every right to come across rude, but he doesn't. And fair fucks to him for bringing that up. And Trisha just laughed it off. So Trisha obviously knows that she was guilty here, but. There's like 15 entrances. Why? Well, it's so hard. I'm in a fortress. <laughs> she is and it's gorgeous. And I literally feel like yeah. I'm in the Trisha Paytas Museum. I mean, honest to God, I like, I'm like this. There's pictures and there's shoes. You should shoes. take something. Bring something home. I gave Amelia a Starbucks bling cup yesterday, so take something with you. Oh, I might have to. I always give people same. stuff. Yeah, take. Yeah, I have so many Starbucks cups. Yeah, okay, I'll take a Santa Louis Vuitton luggage. But yeah, take it. I gave my sister some. I meant to. I said my husband would die right now. I mean, they're literally backpacks and I mean, it's shoes. <laughs> She's got. Peter said, "Fuck you for stealing the Amelia thing. Give me the Louis Vuitton suitcase." <laughs> And he didn't know me back then, but also in four years' time, I'm gonna know someone called Adam McIntyre. He also wants one. Frame tickets. Yeah. But you know what's so funny is, like, I walked in and your couch is so comfortable, and it's like, there's candles everywhere. It's like, mm -hmm. it's, it, you're just, it, you're, it, it is real, like, you are so who you are on camera. Aw, thanks. Like, you are Peter, what does that mean? I walked in and there was candles everywhere, and the sofa was really comfortable. You are who you are. <laughs> Not a lesbian, though, right, Trish? Yeah. Not the parody. Oh, really? Yeah, because we talk about that. They both Shane and Amelia knew you, and like you're exactly the same. I think Amelia. Okay, so now Trish is bringing up that Shane was speaking nicely of Peter. However, Peter has informed us that Shane was actually talking shit about Peter during this era. So it's very different off camera. I think Shane's very different off camera, but I think you're all very much the same. Yeah. So we were. Thank you. Yeah. Did you think I would be like? How did you think I would be? Um. Peter keeps lifting that damn cup up and not taking a sip of it. <laughs> Because you're very, you don't edit. So like when people edit, you can cut so much of who you are right. and you're the same as me. So I'm like, I can be. Of who you are. Be who you are. Trisha talking about being a lesbian because she wants to lick toilet bowls. Be who you are. Lesbian pride. You can't cut, you know, like you just are who you are. Um, you're, uh, yeah, I don't know. You're exactly the same. <laughs> she goes, you are who you are. Yeah, you are who you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So many people have said that you're short. Mm -hmm. I don't think of you as that short. Uh, do people say that? That I'm short? But when they've met you, that you're short. Yeah. The other thing is, I will tell you, mm -hmm. and I mean this, honest to God, I said it to her as soon as we sat down. Like, you're not heavy. <laughs> I said to her, I said, do you really Aww. think that, like, the camera puts on weight? Yeah, I think Because, I mean, you really are not. Thank you. You like, do. And, I she, and the other thing is, I don't know what it is, 
this place kind of reminds me of my stepmom a little bit. I said, I know, that's so weird. No, but she loves all of this and like, you know, all the furniture. This, <laughs> this is what our basement looks like. This looks like your living room. Love the that. smell in here is so incredible. I thought he was going to say, the smell in here is so fucking disgusting. <laughs> I thought he was going to say that. The smell in here is so fucking revolting. Incredible. Oh, uh, thanks. And you said it was something from Bath and Body Works. Yeah. I have, like what would she have responded? And Trisha, the smell in here is so fucking awful. Plugins, like, oh, excuse me, like, that, flower thing. Yeah. I have those everywhere, and it's, like, What's a plug-in. Oh, plug I love this one. Is I love a good plug-in to the wall for sense that didn't sound like a good sentence but i love a good plug-in air freshener that sentence was not great here i think is fresh linen but then there's hot fudge sunday out in the living room so kind of like it kind of mixes together so it's really, like, so fantastic i love it thank you yeah i mean people are always like trisha love the house like she smells and like oh. i really honestly think that you should run tours through here as the trisha paytas museum oh love that yeah, i don't well, like people knowing where i live and i don't like i usually don't let people come over i'm very like I'm very, like, even when Shane had Amelia, I said this to them, I was like, wow, you're... I'm obsessed with how much Trisha is bringing up the Shane and Amelia thing. <laughs> Why is she bringing it up so much? Why did Glutter come to your house? I'm very, like, don't let... But then I was like, I mean, what are you gonna do? I was really surprised <laughs> when you were like, here's my address, come over tomorrow. Which time you fly out, I'm like, one, and I'm always afraid that I'm gonna miss my flight. Yeah, so you're, I can like, only... <laughs> you're leaving so early. I was like, okay, that's early, but okay. And then she was like, what time do you have to leave? And I was... What time are they fucking filming at? Are you telling me this isn't filmed at, like, midnight? I was like, well, my flight leaves at 3.20, and I'm really nervous I'm going to miss my flight yeah. because I'm always cutting it close, gal. You're fine. Yeah, I literally, like, go five minutes before I have to board. Like, I'm always like that. I guess I kind of thought that if we ever... I go five minutes before my flight. I'm always like that. <laughs> She's a little rah at the end of that. Mm -hmm. It would just be like... Oh, blah, 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 blah. That's how we are. I, yeah. like talk I love talking to people. I'm a big talker. Well, we've so. talked on the phone. It's been like that. Yeah, that's true. I know, and we always... We talk the same way. We're always, like, running to go to the next subject. Like, oh, before I forget, this too. And then this too. Like, you have to, like, get it all in at once. You seem so happy today. I'm so... It makes me oh, happy. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, that's why I texted you yesterday. I was like, okay, I'm in a good place. Because, you know... I Could you imagine he was like, you seem so fucking miserable today. <laughs> I don't meet up with people if I'm, like, depressed. I don't want to, like, bring them back. Because I'll, like, just start crying out of nowhere if I'm in a bad mood. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I've been good the past couple days. So we take it day by day. <laughs> we just, I will say this, okay, because I'm not going to bring a bunch of it up on here. But we did talk about her taking care of herself and things mm -hmm. like that. And I know. I saw your video where, like, is she really getting better? I'm like, okay. <laughs> I just... <laughs> We had, we had some honest talks. I said, like, what do you really think about some things I've said? And we talked about it. And mm -hmm. I said, you know, I love you. I adore you. I relate to you. Um... I want the best for you. Yeah. But I don't know what ha had to happen for you to get to where you're at now. But, like, your last few videos, like, I was telling her how I found her. So I found her through Gigi Gorgeous. Love Gigi. You should have with her. I'm sure she would. Did you click on her? Well, I've said a lot of... Okay, so... Oh, yeah. I've oh, said yeah. some not so friendly, nice things about mm -hmm. Gigi in the past. But I'm also, like, literally one of her biggest fans. Do you think Trisha would film a collab with Peter nowadays? I want to see that. I want to see a reunion. And I, she is OG, one of the very first YouTubers I ever watched back in the day with like Chris Crocker, Johnny Boy X. Do you remember Johnny Boy X? Yeah. Oh, I like Oh my God. Music. And all of that. And it was a different YouTube. And I watched Gigi's very first makeup tutorial. Mm -hmm. We actually did an interview with her on our website so years crazy. ago. I'm sure she doesn't remember. And so I watched literally every video. And then you met up with her at the Ivy, mm -hmm. which I went to the last time I was here. Do you like it? It's so cute. Do you like it? I'm not um, I hate the Ivy restaurants. Too expensive, menu is shit. I'm trying to think of more bad things to say about it, but it's just so un it's so expensive and it's not good at all. They have one in Brighton, so bad. I went for my mom's birthday and it was just so expensive and, and the food was not good. I'm not sure I think $34 for a salad is... Yeah, I know. It's, and the people were rude as shit that worked there, but it was gorgeous inside the flowers and yeah, everything. Yeah, not into that place at all. So that I watched that video with you. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, I've seen this girl before. She's complaining about being fat in some video <laughs> in her apartment. <laughs> Still do and then I started watching you. And then I think I didn't watch you for a while. And then I can't remember what it was. And then I just became like every video I watched of yours that you put out. Really? Oh, yeah. that's so cool. But I like your vlogs better than your main videos. I don't know why. It's so funny because... Like but what does Adam love? His Mr. Beast Burgers. I'm a beast baby. Oh shit, they have Mr. Beast Burger in Brighton. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I think they have it in Manchester too. Give me a moment.
Mr. Beast Burger, Manchester. <gasps> you can now get Mr. Beast Burger in Greater Manchester. Mr. Beast Burger, Brighton opening times. Sorry, I need to take a little pause. How long is it open? More info. Open until 10 p.m. Great. Love it. Should I pregame my dinner with my friend that's in like two hours with the Mr. Beast Burger? <laughs> Like, those don't do as well as their main channels. I don't know why that is. Because it's a vlog, and I think those are your real fans over there. Yeah, I kind of just half ass that channel. I noticed that over there you don't get any kind of hate comments, really. You don't think? No, I got a lot on my last one, my Chris Angel one. I got, like, that dress is... You, I get a lot of hate on there. People say that. Because I get something that they Yeah, I'm all positive. I'm like, where are you looking? So you know I'm a huge Vegas fan, right? <coughs> yes. Okay. So we go to Vegas all the time. We were married mm -hmm. in Vegas. And, um, my friend Melissa goes there all the time. Okay, I did not know that Chris Angel was a Cirque du Soleil show. She said it's so good. Oh, yeah, it's not there anymore, though. No, it, the Chris Angel show isn't yeah. there anymore? Yeah, the Cirque show, he had his magic show. Are they different? Who the fuck is Chris Angel? Mm -hmm. The Cirque is Cirque. Like, so it's what, is it about, what is it about Chris Angel? Because we were sitting in there, and she has <laughs> a action figure, Jason Momoa, and I was like, um, <laughs> I said, that's the kind of He's a magician? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I disappeared. <laughs> the kind of guy that I like. Me the too. Guys. <laughs> Um, and I said, but can we talk about what's her face? Zo what's her name, Zoe? Um, Lisa Bonet. Lisa Bonet. <laughs> what is that about? I don't know. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't get it You're either. You're so good at it. Thanks. <laughs> I, know, I feel like it's that Hey Queen. You know, I, I was asking on Hey Queen That's and then exactly... they canceled on me. <laughs> or they like told me not to come, basically, because I think someone tweeted them that I was like not into drag queens or something. So they got like mad. I don't know. Like at one point I said, I don't get drag queens. Like this was years ago. I like, I, it's not my thing. Like I know you love them. I don't really get it. Like it's not my thing. But, and so they were like, Trisha's anti drag queens or something. And I'm like, ah. So then they asked me not to be on it. I was like, okay. That's why I started using the fan. Everybody thinks it's for other reasons, but it's really because of Johnny McGovern. You were right with him. He's, do you, what, is that bad? No, but I'm just like, he's like outrageous and stuff. I'd love to be on the show. Sorry, I just feel like I'm watching two Sims talk. You know whenever, like, you're playing the Sims and you, like, just cancel all their interactions and they do their own thing? This is a conversation that is stemming from that. I absolutely am so enthralled right now, by the way. I would absolutely love to be on the show. I feel like they'd have you on. Look at her. <laughs> uh, ah, that's but that's why I got the Dirt Squirrel fans originally, because of Johnny McGovern. Oh, I need and I love is. Lady Lady Red uh, Couture, too. Yeah, I love Show. I was a fan and I stopped watching it when they like canceled me. Shane was on there. Yeah, that's why he I was on. He looked cute on there too. It was right after he broke yeah, his leg. Oh yeah. god, that was so long ago. That was after he came out. Yeah. So we were in there and Trisha said, um, we were, she was setting up the camera because everywhere I go, all the other YouTubers, because I'm not a real YouTuber, they have to set up the camera. So she was setting it up. <laughs> I'm not either. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Mine's like a so, $15 tripod. <laughs> I love that just randomly up there you have Peter Pan sitting right next to Beauty and the Beast. That's my whole Disney thing. See, like oh. Belle and Mickey and Toy Story. Where's the Rose? Belle, Beauty and the Beast. I feel like this apartment from Trisha was just... I would love to see a floor plan of it, especially now that she's not living there. Because I feel like I watched so many videos, specifically whenever I was younger, of like the kitchen and stuff. And I know that Shane did the video, but can't remember that. I would love to see what this apartment layout is like, because it seemed fucking huge, right? Like this apartment seemed so big, so big. Like, was it a penthouse or it was like big as fuck. It looked like, multiple levels and stuff, what the fuck? Is that from, oh. Yeah, that's like the biggest thing. In Where is the Hamilton uh, shrine in here? Hamilton is on my book case. There's Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's all Game of Thrones. All Game of Thrones up there. Wasn't it a house? I think it was an apartment. Hamilton's in there. I think. Um, Have then, you ever done an apartment tour? No, uh -uh. I don't like people to know my shit in here. I don't want people to. But you let me in so easily. That was so nice of you. I let you in. Yeah, yeah well, I, mean, I trust you. I mean, you also live in India, so it's not like you're going to. This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Peter goes, you don't trust people? You let me in. Trisha goes, yeah, but you live in Indiana. <laughs> Can I say what you have hanging on your door? Just to be... Yeah. Okay, so this is so funny because she's got it, like, down here, too. Um, oh, yeah. Like, you walk through. It's very kind of bougie. Thanks. And then you get to Trisha's door, and there's, like, this Valentine's Day. <laughs> it. It's, like, very Indiana, like, Midwest. Yeah. Like, oh, I, Midwest. I was like, oh, I love this. Yeah. She's just got this, like, hanging down there. No one's taking it, but now someone will probably steal it, so I'll take it down. But... <laughs> That's no, horrible. They shouldn't steal that. No, I'm surprised no 
someone stolen it because I feel like out here people just steal like pennies, like they'll steal anything. But yeah, I like I like uh, I'm from the Midwest, so I always have like trash keys around my house. That's yeah. how it was like growing up for us. So maybe that's the stepmom thing in me. Yeah, but I, I mean, I grew up too far from you, like Rockford, Illinois. So she loves her makeup and her glam and her. <laughs> All that too. Your <laughs> really? teeth are beautiful. Oh my god, I need veneers. Thank you. Should you we have, have any veneers? I do. I want all that. Should you we have what we're gonna say? Should we have like a what's a clickbait? What are, what are we gonna talk about that's like scandalous? Okay, well, first of all, I was gonna say this. We were sitting out there, and then I was looking in the kitchen. I go, it just kind of like hit me. Like, the, okay, so. Can Trisha Paytas not have normal conversations with people? Like, it's. I understand this is literally for content, but like. You're 12 minutes into a conversation and you're like, okay, what are we going to clickbait? Like, how can we turn this into content? Girl, I know you're only really doing this because you feel bad about the shadiness that you did to Peter. But, like, girl, act a little bit nicer. And I understand as well she's probably just trying to, like, come up with ideas so that there's not moments of silence. But, girl, don't be rude. So yesterday I was in an Uber and I was like, do you know where the Hollywood sign is? And he goes, yeah, it's right over there. And I go... Like, I haven't seen it <laughs> since I was 16. Really? Oh, oh, yeah, I panicked. And then yesterday, when Amelia and I got out of the, the Uber to go eat, we were on Hollywood Boulevard, and she, like, put the... Hollywood Boulevard sucks. I hate Hollywood Boulevard. Scariest place on earth. Bag down. She's like, I gotta go get Diet Coke. She's, like, looking through her bag, and I, like, looked down, and I saw the star, and I was like, I'm on the Walk of Fame. I've never been on the... I mean, really? I'm, I'm so, like, innocent touristy like that. I right? love it. Yeah, I'm the same way. So when I came in here, I was like... I just kind of looked at it for a second. I was like, oh, this is a big kitchen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kitchen. I don't know why. And I go, Trisha, this is the kitchen. And she goes, this is where everybody's going to come for me. They're going to be like, oh, my God, he acted so super fan. But I always said I would faint. I, mean, I always fan. I always fan out when I love people. So I said, she goes, do you want to film in there? I go, oh, <laughs> we have to film in there. It's the best And lighting. I said, and I need. A, is it a LaCroix? Yes, LaCroix. La La I think it's LaCroix. And bitch, you haven't taken a sip of it yet, Peter. <laughs> You haven't, you haven't taken a sip of it yet. <laughs> ah, LaCroix. 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 But I say LaCroix. I think it's LaCroix. Which, is this mango is your favorite? Mango's my favorite. It's the only one I have in there. Is well, there's like a favorite? coconut from like a really old boyfriend from like years ago. But Cheers, like, Peter. Okay. Now, I will say mm -hmm. that um, I'm having a hard time with my weight loss journey because uh, my house is packed with angel hair pasta. Oh. I can't believe it's not butter and those corn niblets. That <laughs> <laughs> those lightly sauce corn nugget things or whatever, they're really good. My favorite. Wait, was this during Trisha's era of like every second video was like 24 hour weight loss, uh, appetite suppressing lollipop haul, like this kind of, I'm pretty sure this was that era of Trisha where she would take a photo and then the other photo would be like, I remember there was a photo from Trisha and the reason that I have no problem calling it out was because of how dangerous it was. And she would literally be like this in the first photo. She'd be like, me 24 hours ago. And she'd be like, like, lying like this. And then she'd be like, me now. And it's her like this. She would be taking the photo like this. Or there's, there's one in particular where she's literally like this. And I was like, and the reason that I have no problem calling her out is because it was all sponsored posts. It was like all sponsored posts. Trisha Paytas weight loss ad. Literally, and it was sponsored post. What's the one I'm thinking of? Oh, this is the one I'm thinking of. Hold on. This is the one I'm thinking of. Where she would like post these photos and then do these side by side and be like, 24 hour makeover. Where's, like, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. Boombod T. Fuck me, right? Fuck me, right? <laughs> there's so many of them. Hold on. God, there's so many. There's so many. I'm not even gonna click on most of these because some of these captions. Oh, but this is the one I'm thinking of. I drank only water for five days. Remember the one where I told you she's like this before where she's just like, and then the one after she's like this. Here it is. Find it. Fuck me. It's the worst thing that you could ever endorse. I only drank water for five days. 
lose weight fast. Great video, Trish. Great video. 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 Great video. It's just, I think it was so disgusting. And I think the fact she was being paid to do all them is just so gross. Like, so gross. It's gross. Anyways. Right, I like to put the butter in there. Yeah, I know you do. That's too so much though for me. Why? <laughs> it's the one. You I like can't believe it's not butter, butter though. It's not butter. It's like I can't believe it's not butter. That's, click, that's <laughs> clickbait. I can't believe it. Okay, what's well, clickbait? Something drama with you? Um, I'm, I mean, I mean seriously. I'm gonna say. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you just? What was that cut? <laughs> say it's something out. That's that's always more mysterious. Yeah. So we were talking about. <laughs> videos I made it kind of went in the other direction so um <laughs> we'll just cut that part out so anyway yeah people are gonna be dying I love that that's the tea right there that's the tea what did I cut out yeah Why? but anyway what we can't um, talk about so yeah I don't know um oh that would be a good title yeah talking about what we can't talk about <laughs> um I love that yeah Ooh, yeah so, um, well, I don't know what's something, what do you think is like the biggest, I, I, I don't know how many videos I've made about you. I would probably guess less than 20. No. Over the <laughs> Listen, and I can't even laugh at that because I've done the same, but. <laughs> Years? You think I've made more than that? Yeah. But so many 50. of them are really like, I love you. Yeah, I bet you, I mean. You like, I did... Not anymore. <laughs> 20 so, the first month about me. Yeah, I said this. <laughs> That's probably true. You know, it's like my very first video about you was like, I was like, who's she making these extensive music videos for? Who I don't understand. Yeah. And then I watched Showtime and I was like, oh. Sing it, go. Get me started. Cue the lights, cue the sound. No more choice, I'll survive some. Peter going, I love this one song. Trisha goes, sing it. And she's singing it and he doesn't know the words. He's <laughs> he's so real. Somehow, I know the chorus. And better. you know it's all gone, all gone. Too far to turn back now. Um, so uh, make me up and tear, tear me, me down. down. Kill, Kill the, the lights, lights and I'm there now. now. Girl, I can't Lost sing with you. in the good, good light. Now that you really are good singer. His ass does not know the words. <laughs> He went, I know the chorus better, and was waiting for her to finish the words and then sang them. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not. Maybe so. Oh, I'm not happy. Oh, I'm not happy. You're in showtime too. <laughs> well, what's so funny is, I literally, I wish I had my phone right here. I was just listening to it, which is why I don't know the words. I don't know. This is it's a the girl, call me up when you're 46. Okay? <laughs> when you get older, it's just not a good thing. So, um, great. it is my favorite song of yours ever. Thanks. Yeah, I have so many favorites, but I, I don't know why. I feel like you were really vulnerable in that song. My favorite part of you is when you're like sitting there and you're doing all this kind of stuff. I feel you were really vulnerable in that song and Trisha laughs because she knows that that's bullshit. <laughs> she goes, ain't nothing vulnerable about that. And her hair's back. Yeah. I just love that of you Thanks. in that video. But when I'm in my car in Indianapolis and I'm driving around, I hear that song <laughs> crack and like, people are looking at me and I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> channeling you know trisha peter's driving around blasting it going like this because he doesn't know the words it's, it's so funny it's interesting that you were saying the thing about uh, i do want to ask you this really quick about the being gay thing mm -hmm. so what do you mean by that because i don't want that misinterpreted for you that people like oh oh she's joking and you know she's taking no. how much more can that be misinterpreted she said she wants to be a lesbian because gay people are liar to lick toilets we've got it we get it and we stand with you, Trisha. <laughs> oh, I like I would. I was explain this to Amelia. And I... Late, but I finally made it to Manchester Stream. What if I told you that I'm in a hotel in Brighton right now? <laughs> but thank you for the effort. <laughs> in theory, we're in Manchester. I always explain it like people like for real in real life is like. I connect with, and people like don't believe this. Okay, like let's see if she says the same toilet story again this time. Because Peter's and I kind of told her like, mm, it's not really great what you said. Like, why are you gay? Like, <laughs> I don't have a ton of girlfriends, but um, like I connect with girls better. Like I, I love girls. Like I'm like, you know, I just, they, they understand me, like sensitive. Uh, Trisha goes, I love girls, but kissing a girl. <laughs> 
It's like every straight girl ever. I love my girlfriends. Would you ever kiss one of them? <laughs> like. Girls, that's why I like I think attracted to like gay men and stuff because like someone like Shane is very sensitive and like they're not all sensitive, but you know what I mean. So um, so but like straight males are not sensitive. They don't get me at all. Did Trisha just say she would turn gay because of Shane Dawson? I think that implies that you think that Shane Dawson is bad enough that you have to turn yourself gay. <laughs> Oh, but I love, obviously. On the whole. Yeah, I, well, like, just the sexual part of, like, being with a guy. You know yeah. what I mean? And so, like, trying to connect with a guy, like, is hard because it's all about sex for me. So, um, but I, I really wish I could, like, and I try to be with girls because I was, like, I really, like, I really wanted to be. It's so weird to say that. Like, I really wanted to be, like, into girls because I'm just, like, my life would be so much easier um, because. Do you mean just on a sexual level? You're right, Trisha. The straight woman has spoken. Being gay is so much easier, Trisha. Truer words have never been spoken by a straight woman. Um, no, because like I connect with them, yeah, on a sexual level, but I also because I connect with them mentally, I wish I could get there on a sexual level and I just can't. And I asked her, she was very open. I was very and I asked a lot of like um lesbians this because I'm so curious and like I just can't get into the, you know, like or, you know, not to get this demonetized, but, like, the, 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 that stuff, like, the eating stuff. The married folk, then. Yeah, yeah. That's what we say on my channel. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Like, oh, That's I'm what married folk do. Or not married folk, but we can say whatever. Yeah. Trisha goes, I would love to be a lesbian, but I think what lesbians do is fucking disgusting. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just, um, but I love the male gentleman. Yeah, wait a lot. <laughs> She just got a, a package in the mail from that. Trisha talking right now is like every company in gin. Hi, gay. I'm gay too. Gay? Ooh, so disgusting. I know, well, I, I know. Hear from Adam and Eve. She's never used one though, like so. Oh my god, Adam and Eve. Ironic. This video is actually going to be sponsored by Adam and Eve. Code Adam50 for 50% off. One item and free shipping. In the US and Canada, 90 day no hassle return. 24 7 customer service. Anything else? 50 years in the game. Bunch of their proceeds goes to helping fighting the spread of HIV all around the world. Code Adam50 at checkout. That's actually funny. This video is actually sponsored by Adam and Eve. Hey, Adam and Eve. Hi. Hi, Madonna. Welcome to Adam and Eve. Thank you. You know what? Like, I'm a girl, so I was like, oh, that might, you know, it doesn't feel the same. I've had yeah. things on me. Like, eh. I just uh. don't. It's interesting because like, you know, my mom in her later life, like she didn't want to be in a relationship with a man mm -hmm. because she didn't, I mean, she loved men always. Right. And, um, but she didn't want to have like a man like tell her what to do with her life or what time to go to bed. And she felt like every guy that she would date or whatever would be like, you know, like, okay, well it's, there's, it's controlling kind of, you mm -hmm. know? And she said, and I would love to have like one of my girlfriends, like friend friends move in here. Cause I get along with women so well and we could go to movies and we could eat and we could just like have two twin beds next to each yeah. other. She was like, but then the whole neighborhood would think I'm a lesbian and I'm not a lesbian and I don't care if people think I'm a lesbian, yeah. but I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> and, you know, and she's like, and I wish I could be because you know, it would, make, it would make everything yeah. so much easier. But she's like, but I'm not. And she's like, and the companionship part is the thing that people really don't understand. I want to tell you something. I watched this interview. I've been talking about this nonstop on my videos. <laughs> it's the Oprah RuPaul interview. Go see it. It is fantastic where Oprah interviews RuPaul. And she's asking, Oprah asked RuPaul in there about, like, gay icons, like mm -hmm. Tammy Faye Baker, and I'm thinking of who else you think. <laughs> that's your person that comes to mind? Well, because that's the last person they talk about in there. Oh. And Judy Garland. Okay. And, like, all the Stonewall riots, something like that. And they were talking about, like, big divas that people... Trisha, quick, what's the Stonewall riots? Quick, Trisha, five seconds to answer. People like, I think they talk about Cher in there, too. And, um... RuPaul said that gay men, because of what they've gone through and coming out, he's talking specifically about gay men, but LGBT people in general, that because of like what they've gone through in their life and like the struggle, that they relate to people that have struggled in their life too. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's why you have such a gay following? I don't know. I, don't know. I really do Maybe. see you as kind of that to some people. Oh, I love that. No, it's really cool. Like when I do my shows, I was surprised at how big of a gay audience that I have because I don't really talk about like gay stuff, you know, like LGBT stuff. I don't really talk about anything like that. So yeah, you only talk dying about it. <laughs> you only talk dying about it. Bitch, I don't know either. It's cool. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's so interesting. She goes, it's cool to have them, but what they do is so just gross. <laughs> I, I know, like, my favorite people like Dolly Parton and, like, Britney Spears and, like, Cher. Dolly Parton's another huge one. Like, her just not naming gay people. <laughs> her naming straight people and being like, they're my favorite gay icons. 
Dolly Parton share straight women. <laughs> Oi. So like, I feel like I always thought, oh, they like them because they're very like out there. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. She just named straight women. But maybe. I have no idea. Maybe that is it. I mean, I love it though. Like I just, I, like I said, I've just always related more to gay guys. Um, Even like when you were like in high school, you know, no, because there was no gay people when I was in high school. Like yeah. no was no one came out because I was in a small town in like Illinois. Like it was two thousand five or something, you know. So it wasn't a thing. So no, not until I moved out here. Boy, <laughs> did you think? I asked her, I said, this to the shallow video, you literally just sat in here and just like, I said, you had the outfit on going to Vegas. I know mm -hmm. it wasn't thought out. She goes, I know it wasn't. It was just, yeah, I said, I, it was genius. I loved it. I needed a quick video. So I was like, I can just get the song done in like three minutes. Did you ever think it would do what it's done? No, I mean, no. people have synced it to Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper's. It's yeah. all over the internet. I'm always so confused on why those go viral because I feel like half the internet knows I'm obviously like trolling, you know what I mean? Like being stupid on purpose. And then I'm like, but the other half who thinks, I guess they share it because that they think I'm I think what's really interesting is Trisha saying half the internet thinks I'm trolling, but if you were to ask Trisha about this interview now where she like goes back and forth about being gay, lesbian, whatever, she'd be like, I was trolling. But the thing is, a lot of people know it's supposed to be funny or maybe they actually think I'm trying. I don't know. I'm so confused. I don't know how people see me. I'm like, maybe they think I'm actually like, that's how I sound, which, you know, sometimes that's how I sound. I'm not the best Can you give us a little Bradley Cooper? Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this lonely world? Oh, do you need to no, you gotta do that. That was the best. Is there something else in search and fall? I'm falling. That's the part of Amelia and I were singing yesterday. That's great. Oh my god. Peter goes, that's the part me and Amelia were singing yesterday. You know whenever you met up with Amelia after? <laughs> Yeah, I do a little country in my car, girl, okay? So if you yeah. ever need a country singer, call me up. You got your Kenny Chesney right I, here. Oh, okay? I love Kenny Chesney. <laughs> I love, I'm like a huge Kenny Chesney Are you really? Fan. Yeah, and Garth Brooks are my two favorites. I don't, I took the storm down here because I keep on pulling on my shirt because I feel so fat sitting next to me. Me, always. That's why I'm like always like covering my belly with you my legs. You are so little. Oh, thanks. There was something I wanted to ask you. Oh, so you said trolling. Uh-huh. So... People say you troll and people say you don't troll. Yeah. I know you troll because we've talked about it. You're like, yeah. yeah. I feel like it's obvious. I don't know do why you? people are so like, well, is how she do you okay? Like, okay, so. I think Trisha has trolled to a degree for attention, but I think that Trisha also, specifically during this era, and, and I mean, many came after this as well, she would do things spur of the moment for attention. And then whenever things went wrong, she would say, but I was trolling. How are people supposed to tell the difference? Do you not care if they can tell the difference? I mean, good questions from Peter. Do you want it to be part of the illusion? No, I have a vlog channel and you can see I'm wearing the same outfit as I did the toilet spoken word and I'm now I'm in the, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm not like trying to hide it. I'm okay. like, oh, this is just how- Peter, the horse is here. I'm feeling like I, you know, sometimes I just want to like do creative things. But a lot of the videos where you're like sitting there and you're hurt and you're pained and you're talking. Like, I mean, those are real. Those are real, yeah. I make stuff up like that i don't why would you want that drama i, I love like when I, you can tell like when i'm in a relationship like i'm very like drama free like i don't try and like stir the pot because i'm like i'm trying to ski in me no you were 18 <laughs> saying that during the jason era was crazy <laughs> that's a crazy statement when you made your first video yeah okay and now you're 30. 30. okay so 12 years on youtube mm -hmm. so this is what i think is different that I've witnessed from uh -huh. a lot of you guys, like you, Shane, and Amelia and I were talking about this, that you've grown up on YouTube. Yeah. Do you know the difference between sharing my life on YouTube and not sharing my life? Or do you feel like you've just shared it for so long you don't really know the Yeah, difference? I just share it. It's so weird, like, when someone's like, okay, we gotta keep this private or something, I'm like, oh, that's so weird, but it's good. I'm keeping more stuff private now, and like, okay, I kinda get it, I'm like, okay, don't share everything. And also, I have like half of my family, like, I have a brother and like a dad that's very not onto YouTube, but I'm like so close with them, so I think it's like, I'm getting better like well you can share that stuff i think but like in watching you it's like maybe sit on some of that stuff and think about mm -hmm. it like do you have regrets about things you put out there yeah, of course my god so i delete videos that's why i get so mad when people re-upload because i'm like clearly i regretted posting a video if i deleted it yeah i mean you i know? have a lot of regrets too and i always feel like I'm, yeah i'm really trying to work on being responsive not reactionary and that's what i said about my in my video about you yeah i see I that peter's saying like a valid thing he's working on and trisha laughing in his face I'm really trying to work on being this, not that. And Trisha goes, <laughs> You and I'm like, oh, Yeah, that's me. I, that's one thing. I, I don't know why I can't control it. I'm just like, I have to get out everything I'm feeling. If no one listens to me, I'm like, I, I have power. I have YouTube. And then you're like, Oh my God, why did I do 
I remember Trisha on Big Brother when she was called into the diary room because she was fighting with one of the guys called Sam. And she was like, once we get out of this house, I'm going to expose you and my audience are going to take down your career. And she was called into the Big Brother diary room and they made her say that she wouldn't do it. She ended up doing it anyway, but she does love that platform. <laughs> was your makeup artist here earlier? That Big Brother era was everything to me because I remember it was the first year that I was all to my mom. Can we watch Big Brother together? Because she watched it. She was like, no. And then I ended up watching it secretly. Um... And the reason that I wanted to watch it was because Trisha was on it. And my mom was like, oh, this Trisha person is so annoying and so obnoxious. Just for years later, my mom to know so much about Trisha and didn't know anything about Trisha back then in that moment. Yeah, Abby comes here at 5.30 from Orange County. That's why I said, that's why I told you yesterday. I'm like, well, we can film today, but I'm going to look so much cuter tomorrow. <laughs> so the other day, you're like, we're talking about Jesus and makeup or something like that. I'm like, yeah. he's good. He's great. He does hair and makeup. I wish she stayed to the end of the Big Brother because she did, she held that season. And uh, he's straight, which is really crazy. I always think like when he's doing makeup. A straight like, hairstylist? You never know that. And makeup. In it's... Indiana, we've got a ton of them. Wait, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's so weird. Mm -hmm. There's like not. Very successful hairstylists in Indiana that are own really? salons and are, yeah, married and. Like, I know every time he does my lip liner, I'm like, this is like so weird because it feels like my brother doing it. Yeah, he's like, he's all look close. And, and this is Johnny Depp today. We're Johnny Depp today because I don't. Trisha goes, you are a man. Why are you holding a hair straightener, gay boy? <laughs> I have my own identity, so I like to dress as people. Who's tomorrow? Peter Mon. Um, <laughs> well, your style is very easy to copy. Okay, well, here's the problem. So, um, I wear just all black t-shirts. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I brought two, because I didn't think I was doing anything. Right. And I went out and hung out in West Hollywood last night. And, um, which was so, can I say what you said? It was so funny. No. <laughs> Oh, it just was so random. So anyway, but um, so I hung out there and I wore my <laughs> other shirt. What did she say? What did she say? Can I say what you said last night about West Hollywood? <laughs> no. Cut. <laughs> and did I wear, yeah, I wore it underneath a flannel. And so like I was sitting there and uh, Peter, Peter, what did she say? Text me. <laughs> I, I, like, and then I was like, got back to the room and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Over to, um, I was. This is so funny. Out of like literally, I've met a lot of celebrities in my life. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've interviewed Angela Bassett <laughs> and over Angela Bassett. The thing. <laughs> I like her. No, I, I love, love her. her. I love her. No, she's no, great. No, like I mean, all these people for our website that we used to have, and I've met a lot of you know YouTubers. I didn't know Peter used to work for a magazine. I'm sure there's so many videos on it back in the the day. So I want to go and watch them. I don't know if he ever really dived into that. If he did, please let me know because I would love to find out more about the Peter Mon lore. He worked in a magazine. <laughs> You, by far, were the one that I was most nervous to meet. Really? Yeah, and I'm standing in your hallway, and I'm like, you didn't give me your apartment number. And she's like, oh. I know, I like, gave him the fullest image. I always, I don't know why I forgot that, but yeah. Your post, mate. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, happy and based. But I was so nervous to meet you, and you that's were so, so friendly funny. when you walked in. Oh, that's so interesting. Um, Yeah, I get nervous to meet people because I'm, like, really, really bad. I, I don't like social anxiety, so I feel like that's, like. Who's somebody that you were really nervous to meet? Peter had a Girl Boss magazine? I need more lore. I need more lore. Can we, can we find more, like, info about that? Peter, the horse is here. Oh, my God. So, because I'm staying at a hotel, I can hear people, like, coming and going in the corridor. And there has been someone standing, like, right outside my door. I feel like there's someone standing. This is so fucking awkward. This is so fucking awkward. They're like this. Fuck me. Fuck me, right? Okay, wait, I'll come down and meet you in the lobby now. Yeah. <laughs> and then they leave. <laughs> and then they leave. Did you hear what I just said? Did you hear what I just said? Did you hear that? They've 
laughed. They've laughed. They've laughed. They've laughed. Angela Bassett did the thing. There's nothing I hate more than whenever I know people are listening to me. <laughs> Whether I'm on a phone call or specifically doing a stream. It's like, I don't know who it is, but they were just standing and listening. No, it's not like, not like anything like creepy or anything. I think it's either, I think, they're probably, I think it's either a worker or someone who is like nearby in the room and like hears me and is like this. They were, they were like just like listening cause I was like talking. <laughs> Work, <laughs> welcome to the stream guys. Do you wanna come in? <laughs> um, it was just nosy. It was like nosy. That's why they walked away. Don't worry. I don't know. I would probably say like Lynn Manuel. I didn't get to meet him, but I was just nervous being in his presence. And I remember Jason being like, let me just go up and ask him to take a picture. I was like, no, no, no. Like, all the way to Puerto Rico, and I was like, no, don't ask him. <laughs> Are you surprised that you haven't met him yet? Like, I'm surprised, honestly. And I mean, let's just be for real, gal, okay? You're... Peter said, let's be for real. The Lin Manuel, super fan. Yeah, I think because he's really respectful of his wife, and I totally get it. That's why I feel like... That's why Wait, what's the context of that? He's really respectful of his wife? What, that he wouldn't want to meet Trisha? <laughs> I was like trying to push like, my, my boyfriend got me this ticket, so it wasn't like I was trying to hit on him. Oh, I didn't. I mean, I, Oh, it was. I understand that you see him that way, but I don't feel like that's the perception I get from it. Like, there's a difference yeah. when, if we were talking about him versus Jason, Jason Momoa. Momoa. <laughs> he is so... Or Jason Nash. Ba -dum -dum. <laughs> you know? Yeah, he's but so But there's cute. a difference, and I think you really respect his art and his craft, and mm. I see that, and it's just like, I'm kind of surprised that... Somebody hasn't reached out to him yet and made that happen for you. I mean, it's not like you're small potatoes. I think, thing. like, I think also because I like close nudity and stuff, I'm sure he's just kind of like mm, a little thoughty. Maybe he thinks that, that I would. Like, if I was somewhat. You, you yeah. think Lin Manuel doesn't like a uh, little nudity here and there? Really? Yeah, he's so wholesome. Like, he's Mary Poppins. You know what I mean? Like, even if he does, you know, he can't. To be in a picture with me, I'm sure it might be, like, bad on him. Well, maybe you should fall for somebody in the cast, Kinky Boots, son. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I just hate music. What is the deal with music? Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know why you don't like Not kinky boots then. Peter, that was such a sly little shady comment. Musical, that's so weird. That's so weird and you're gay. <laughs> that's why Wait, Trisha, I thought you were gay too. Or a lesbian. I like gay people because they go to musicals with me. <laughs> this is so funny. I shouldn't say this, but we were walking across the street last night, Amelia and I, and I was saying, you know the one thing I go, I don't understand? And she goes, what? And I go, I just don't get the Hamilton thing. Like, I just don't love Hamilton. Mm -hmm. She goes, me neither. And I go, I hate musicals. And she goes, I hate history. <laughs> <laughs> no, me too. When I first saw Hamilton, I'm like, this is going to be awful. Because like, I was after the fact. Oh, is Hamilton a bite history? Oh, sorry. That, that went over my head. I don't know what Hamilton is. I know that it's a show. Is it about history? Oh, went over my head. Lynn had been in the show like I still was like I could care less about Hamilton because it sounds awful I was like this sounds terrible um, it's about the finding of the USA oh okay okay well I didn't know that went over my head <laughs> I think you have to see it I okay I want it. you to do a video in a costume again uh -huh. okay with the cowboy hat on it and do the entire shallow video all over again <laughs> oh shallow okay I can well, I think that's passed now because Oscars canceled it. You know what I mean? Like the whole, that whole video, I just can't even talk enough about it. It was like I, I watched my video back that I did a reaction. It was like literally nine minutes of a two part. <laughs> I've had to put a two part in there. Oh, you know? thanks. I think you're next to James Charles. Sister. Ah, thanks. hey sisters. <laughs> Why'd you collab with him next? I reached out. He's always busy. He's very nice. Same. He's always been really nice. You know. Yeah. Um. So, but uh... this was four years ago. <laughs> this was four years ago. <laughs> Catch me off guard with that one. Yeah, James. <laughs> no, he's been really nice. He's always like, oh, I'm pre-filming this or I'm pre-filming yeah. that. He's always like... This was four years ago, and it's also important to note that I think Peter was supposed to be in James Charles's original show, which was going to be, like, not the Insta-Influencer, 
Um, James, if you ever do season three of Insta Influencer, hit me up. Or season two. Haha, <laughs> you didn't even get that fucker. Um, if... Or the conspiracy... Sorry, I was trying to remember the fucking name of it. I was going to say whatever the new one was called. Um, whenever James was going to do a documentary creating his palette and Shane told him not to, I think Peter was supposed to be in James's one. So they had had communications, I think. Um, this is also four years ago. And this was 2019. This was during the... This was during the No More Lies video, so James was loved in the public eye. Really, just like text him right back. He's very nice. Um, so what was I asking you that you distracted me? The shallow, the Hamilton costume, singing. Can I say, like, not being Lynn and him like knowing who I was and still not wanting to meet me, I got a little like discouraged from doing Hamilton videos. Like, oh, maybe I'm just like creepy and weird. He doesn't want to meet me as well. So I kind of got over listening to Hamilton. I just listened to my car all the time. I was like, oh, that sucks. So what's your name music hall? Uh, I guess I'll hang on I don't know. It, it, it takes me a minute to get into something. I don't have, like, an obsession right now. Really? I feel like Trisha Paytas jumps from trend to trend. No shade. I think it's fun to keep life exciting. Okay, so tea, drama, because we're... Uh, yeah, I know. We're literally so long. I know. Okay, let's... You wanted some tea, some trauma. Let's see. Yes. Things I've always wanted to... Did he say... I thought he said tea and trauma. Trauma. Generational trauma. <laughs> no, about Trisha Paytas. Oh. Mm, well, there's a lot that I've asked already. Yeah. She, I, I said to her, is there anything that you don't want me to talk about on camera? Uh -huh. and you just were like, I'm obsessed with Peter referring to Trisha in, like, third person while she's sitting beside him. Like, yeah, there's only a couple things. This, there's, like, but, but only because I, like, some, like, people No, and, I, and I get it. You don't yeah. need to explain it. I totally understand it. If it's my life, I'll talk about it. If it's someone else's life, I can't. Maybe down the road. Yeah. We can do it again and you'll say, sure. okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping for part two, guys. <laughs> but I understand right now. Yeah. I get it. Okay. Um... Things I've always wanted to know about Trisha Paytas. I don't know. I have to just say, if you're a Trisha fan, if you walked into her apartment, you literally would be like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, okay. it's literally like a museum. It's just me and And it's hair. very beautiful. Like, it's really cool how you have it all. It's, I mean, there's a lot, girl. There's a lot. It's happy. <laughs> it's nice seeing Peter so, like, happy and excited. And I'm so glad that Trisha did this for Peter, whatever her intentions were, because he really got fucked over by Shane. And it's nice to see that something good came of the trip. So shout out to Trisha for like making the effort that Shane didn't. So shout out to Trisha. There's a JoJo Siwa bag over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, you met her. Yeah. You did I a met video her. Except with her. Okay, so what's she really like? JoJo's great. I mean, Is she's she? literally 15 years old. So like, I she's always... the ugliest car in the entire world. I mean, I love it. I'm into like that kind of stuff. Like, I would... Just as I say that. <laughs> I had a car in my face on it. Okay, it so. Hot. I came in to the entrance where I was supposed to come in today. Five. And um, Peter's so real for the car comment. Sorry, it went over my head again. Yeah, Peter, way beyond your years about like, that car. <laughs> and I that ugly ass car. Look, and I'm like looking around for like this directions that you told me, and I look over and I go, <laughs> it's the pink G wagon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I saw it over there. Okay, cool. I love that. I know. I was like, can I take? A, can I go over and take a picture with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, okay. of okay. course. Yeah, we love the pink. <laughs> Because like you know, it's too much. But we well, need to have like five cars if you're a super YouTuber. I don't know why I have five cars and I live in like I, the reason I live in an apartment is because like of the security. Because I used to live in a house and the house got broken into all the time. My house was less than this. Like the house that I had was like way less than this. This so. is huge. This yeah. is huge. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is overpriced. <laughs> like because you're by the Grove and like yeah. you know. So she was living by the Grove in an apartment that was that big in hell holy shit how much was that rent the grove los angeles i'm trying to ref get in my mind where the grove is again okay the grove is here so where did i stay last time i was in la okay so that's the grove beverly boulevard Okay, where did I stay? I stayed at the 60. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. From the Grove to 60 Beverly Hills. Okay, so me and Fishy wouldn't have been that far away from each other from my, like, I, this was years and years ago, but I mean the hotel. That hotel was quite pricey. Holy shit, how the fuck was she staying in the Grove? Or near the Grove? Apartments near the grove i'm not trying to find hers i'm trying to find out what the average rent is at the grove 
Apartments near the Grove. Okay, I'm trying to find out what the, the average price is a month. Okay. Okay, but these are like one bad apartments. This is not... Okay, wait. Beds? Four plus beds. Or no, she had like three beds. Or four beds. Or two beds. How many beds did she have? Did she have four plus? Or three? Or four? Or two? We'll say three beds. Okay, people are saying two. Two beds. Um, I'm seeing a lot of 3.5 thousand, 5 thousand, 8 thousand, 10 thousand, 7 thousand. Fuck in hell. You're in church watching this? Time and place. 10 thousand a month is. And you've got great security, too. I think that's important. Yeah, that's why I moved in here. Okay, things I always want to know about Trisha Paytas. Okay, so I asked you this before we started, but do you film in the kitchen? That's not a lot for California. You pay 4000 a month, Des, for a tiny apartment. That's not me shading Des, by the way. Des literally said for a tiny apartment. That's not me being like, for your tiny apartment? What the fuck? Is this normal? My Brighton apartment was 2.3 thousand a month. It was 2.3 thousand a month. And I had to pay six months up front. So every six months, it was like whatever that six months payment is. And that was like breaking the bank. Especially when I was like 18 years old. Manchester is... Sorry, I'm reading things. Our apartment was over 4000 a month. $750 for a mortgage. 500 for a room. 450 in total, but I split it. I have a studio for 2000 a month. My studio is 2.5 thousand a month, 1.5 thousand a month, 750 all around. Well, my Manchester is significantly less than Brighton. Like Brighton was 2. Point, it was like 2.25 a month and it wasn't worth it. They just kept raising the price. Manchester is How much is the Manchester one? Um, and this is like a nicer apartment with better security. Um, it's like one point something, but it's not anywhere near what Brighton was. And that's still expensive. I don't understand how all of you are saying like you're renting a place that's like four or five thousand. That is like completely unattainable. What the fuck is going on in the United States? Holy shit. That's like actually very much so surprised me because I thought that over here was really bad. And over here is really bad, by the way. Like, you know, inflation has hit over here. Like, for example, whenever I moved into my Brighton apartment, it was one point something. And by the end of moving out after three years, it was like, it, you know, had like doubled. So... But but starting off at like four or five thousand. Holy. Fuck landlords. You pay thirteen hundred. Jesus. Too bad shitty house that floods. I'm paying uh, 1300 I'm near Boston. My studio is 4.5 thousand or a studio near that. Ah, oh, 
hate landlords. Poor because. I'm just lighting. <laughs> she was doing 10,000 a month. Are you telling me that Trisha Paytas was paying 10,000 a month for rent in 2019? Like, I don't even know what that equates to in 2023. <laughs> so it's not that deep. No. It's not like, I have to be emotional on the kitchen floor. No. It's like, literally, I don't want to set up, put it on the thing. Look how filming. easy. You're on the yeah. floor and you're on a tripod. It's like, yeah. there's no... And it's really nice here. I could just I like sit it. down and hang out. It's cold. It's it nice. It does feel good. Yeah. I love that. I will say that on camera, it, the setup looks different. Oh, yeah? What do you think? Do you think it looks, like, smaller? Like, when I'm watching it, I feel like it... I do kind of imagine it going out there, but I feel like there's, like, a big kind of, like, long table there instead of, like, a round table. Oh, like really? Chairs. Yeah, like... Some people think there's, like, a wall here. They think it, like, cuts off and it's small. That, that, yeah. too. Yeah, is what I thought. It's open. I don't know. It just feels different to me. Yeah. Sorry, I just love that Peter is... wearing that fucking icon hat. You must set the camera way back. No, I set it right here. Do you? Uh, actually, I'm usually further back in the camera. But you can see the stove and stuff sometimes in it. Oh, sometimes I have it up there if I do like okay. one thing. Other things, like people are like shouting questions in the, the video, right? I know, like ask your like, I don't know. I'm you so tweeted it. I know. Oh, I. I think your watch is so bougie. Thank you. You're bougie. Oh, this, is, this is getting awkward. End it. 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 It's starting to get awkward. It's starting to get awkward. Please end it. End it. End it. End it. The shoes, fairies, okay. No, I'm prepped out today because I was nervous to meet you. I was like, I just have to look normal. Oh. Okay, so the things I want to. Um, wh what was your very first trolling video? Okay, Peter saved it. Trisha made it a little bit awkward. Peter saved it. Yeah, that you ever did that you said like I'm gonna troll. Uh, oh, it was it was a video I did about supporting Mitt Romney. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Did you know going into it, like, I'm trolling? Like, yeah, of yeah. course. And when, the fact that so many people, like, CNN took it serious, it's like, are the, is the whole world stupid? And the answer is yes, because literally, like, it was... Trisha Paytas does something, gets backlash for it, and then goes, I was trolling. Are you fucking stupid? So obviously trolling. I'm like, I'm voting for Mitt because my kitten's name is Mitt. And I'm like, it was so stupid. Like, I was like, wow. Like, now I try to be a little more smart, like, so that people don't know. But yeah. that was so obviously. Now, you have, like, super fans and people that love you. But, mm -hmm. like, a lot of people are like, okay, like, I'm losing interest because of this back and forth, back and forth, yeah. back and forth stuff. But I know, because we've talked, that your fans really mean a lot to you. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to that person out there that's, like, kind of, like, discouraged or disheartened because, like, they feel like, I don't really know, like... I feel like she's changed, or I'm, like, so tired of this. Like, yeah. are you, like, you did say to me, like, I'm trying not to show as much of that on camera going forward. You know what it is? I just, I, like, I just tell people, like, it's just who I am. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm so back and forth, and I think everybody's, like, just hypocritical, and, like, just, you know, everyone is, like, for me, I'm so wishy-washy. Like, that's just who I am. You know what I mean? Like, and it's not, like, nothing, nothing that I talk about, like, my personal life or anything, that nothing is, like, for me, nothing's, like, fake or an act. I'm not like, ooh, this is gonna cause, you know what I mean? Especially, like, people in my life. I don't have many people in my life, so the people in my life, I wanna keep in my life, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna right. try and, like, let's do this for, you know, I had someone recently, like, a really big YouTuber, this girl who wanted to, like, have, like, a fake drama with me, and I was like, that sounds so stressful and so much They anxiety. actually reached out to you to have fake drama. But hasn't Trisha admitted to being so much, like, engaging in fake drama before with people? Throwing stones, glass highs, the song by Gabby Hanna. Mm -hmm. Do you think that happens a lot? Yeah. Uh, you were going to say yes. Well, I don't know. I was going to say yes, and I, I can't think of an example. Otherwise, I would totally be like, yeah, all the time. But I, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I know a lot of the drama that, like, is out there is, like, real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just people I know personally. Like, oh, yeah, well, right. I mean, today, I think... <clears throat> you know, when I started doing drama, which is like, you literally found me like right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. When I started doing drama, because my first video of you was critical, my second video of you, I had fallen in love. Oh, <laughs> and that's right. really how it happened. Yeah. Um, just so much today that's like all, like, it's all receipt driven. Yeah. So, you know, it's then. <laughs> and you don't do receipts. I mean. You're like, I have receipts, I'm going to show it here. You I never wish do. I <laughs> Not the Peter lashings. Drama deal, I, I wish I could. I do my best, okay? <laughs> but I don't love to watch my own videos back. And so when I have to edit them, that's I'm part of the same. problem. I hate watching it back. And I I'm like, so. where did I say I was going to put that picture? <sighs> I'm a Screw it. He's very real for that. Oh my God, I'm take Thank you, the idea. I'm always like, I'll leave below and I have no I idea what I don't think we would ever see these people in the same room again, which is what makes this even crazier. <laughs> I do. Or when I go to Thailand, I'm trying to be better about it. 
time. It's too much. Yeah. I just want to enjoy YouTube. I don't want to have to, like, work too much. So, I think, like, you know, today, like, when you talk about, like, you know, this happened or that happened, <gasps> there's, like... Oh, my God. Okay, please. Oh, fuck, it moved. Sorry, there was a pigeon just, like, this on the window. It was so sweet. Always receipts. So, like, I enjoy watching those videos because, like, there's a lot of information in there. But I don't even, like, sometimes I watch it and I'm like, I don't even really understand about this. Or really even care about it, honestly. And I kind of, it felt more like, do you remember Michael, um, what's his name? What's the bug? It was, is it Michael? Oh, yeah, Michael Buckley. Buckley, yeah, back in the day. Like, I liked that kind of drama. You know, where it was more like, Philip DeFranco I like a lot, too. You know, where it's more of, like, a, like, kind of news, kind of talk Telling you what's happening, yeah. Yeah, and, like, um, and I mean, I know I do drama, but I've always just kind of like tried to give pigeon stuns in you selfie. Like my two cents about it. Yeah. Commentary or what I think about it. In, in my opinion. You do good. I, I like well to, you. you know, yeah. and I think we all do our different things out there. Um, but it seems different to me today. Like, I don't think that oh. you would see a lot of like contrived fake drama. You know, I don't watch drama channels anymore. I know when I first started watching drama, they were like so mean and vicious. And then it got really boring. So How maybe many times people... has she said that in what? videos? I know, I don't. Drama channels are dead. Drama channels are canceled. Are they? And you're not, I don't do your drama No, channel. I think they're thriving. I... Ooh. Ooh. Number one. Trisha basically said that Peter is nothing, and Peter goes, well, I'm one, and Trisha goes, oh, well, you're not a drama channel, and then Peter goes, no, actually, they are thriving. Oh, he's standing his fucking grind. Good for him. I mean, like, Karina, like, doesn't get views. You know what I mean? Ooh, Trisha doesn't know how to respond to it. Trisha doesn't know. Did you see how fucking quiet Trisha went? Holy shit, watch this back. Are they? And you're not, I don't do your drama No, channel. I think they're thriving. I mean, like, Karina like doesn't get views. You know what I mean? Like yeah, she does. She still gets views. Sixty thousand? Is that views? That's good for her. I think that's good for channel. I don't know. I mean, like you said, that one girl has a million subscribers. Oh yeah. yeah. I didn't even know about that drama. Peter, that was good. That was good, Peter. And Peter goes, yeah, they do. And Trisha goes, sixty thousand views. And Peter goes, yeah, it's good. Channel, like I'm so. I guess because I, I was don't really watch. surprised you didn't know that, but there are literally drama channels out there that are getting million views of video. I mean, Death, I literally. Yeah. I literally, like, I used to be so about them. I don't know what it is. I guess it just got boring for me. Maybe, I guess people do love them, so I don't know. I think it's a like, different way than it used to be. And then she just walks back on the opinion. But don't worry, guys, she was trolling. So, yeah, yeah, I was like, nothing, they're who's, the same thing. Who's a channel that is so random that nobody would ever guess a million years that you watch, like, religious? Like, for me, oh. I've been talking a lot about this lately, but my all-time favorite channel is Nick and Poncho, and it's this Italian guy and his chihuahua, Poncho. I don't love that. And he's always like, Poncino. Oh, it's I love so that. It's so good to see it. Okay, I have to watch him. I do watch a lot of random people, um, <laughs> but I, I don't know what I'm saying. Can't say. I know, can't say. Okay. This is literally the longest I know. I mean, like, you said you did two hours yesterday. You're I was so like, good. Thanks. Yeah, we did. She was kind of over my thing by the end. It's a lot. No, you're good. You're very interviewy. You're very... Do you I think like, so? Yeah, in a good way. Well, well like, you know what I really want to do? And I, and this is so funny because you sat down. I won't make it much longer, but you sat down and you're like, you want to do a video? And I was like, yeah, I guess. And I go, <laughs> she goes, okay, what do you want to do? And I go, I don't even know what I want to ask. I mean, honestly, like I've been waiting to do this for yeah. so long that I didn't want it to do. But I'm really, like, trying to, like, I, I love doing the drama. I do. I love doing, you know, commenting and seeing what's going on, all that kind of stuff. But I really want to do interviews. And I want to do, like, more, like, this This is kind of just fun, you and I talking. But I want to do, like, humanistic videos and sit down and really find out, like, who people are. You should do that. I do want to do it, but, you know. I'll I would love to see Peter Mon do the content that Shane Dawson sets out to do, which is, like, diving into people's lives, interviewing them in person, hanging out with them. I think he is such an approachable, likable spirit unlike Shane Dawson no shade and I think like I would love to see those kind of videos from Peter I would really love to I tell you the thing that's hard is I reached out to a lot of YouTubers mm -hmm. a lot of YouTubers are like um I really appreciate you asking me but I'm trying to stay away from drama and I'm like yeah I understand that but I'm not just gonna ask about the drama like you know yeah. what I mean like it's gonna be hard. I would love to sometime do a follow-up interview with you where I kind of think about it through yeah. and did you just say yeah on camera? Yeah. Trisha said yep. Yeah. Never again. Okay. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not like most YouTubers. I'm like, oh, whatever, I don't care. No, it's just... I'm not like most YouTubers, she says, but not fulfilling her promise. Did she fulfill her promise? Nope. Is she like other YouTubers? And worse. Like, you know, we're... <clears throat> because I think to you, like, the one thing 
that I think is missed sometimes is how truly like artistic your thinking is. Mm -hmm. And there's almost an element of performance art to me mm -hmm. that I see. Um, and I, I think that it's hard when you watch you because it, it floats into like, am I a fan? Am I an observer? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And yeah. when you're a fan, sometimes the things you do, it's like, oh, like, okay, like I hurt for her or I don't understand why right. she's doing this again or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or like, you know, Freela and her banana chips back in the day. Like, she's still around? I think she's an ASMR channel now. Shut up. You remember she was like living Trisha! Like <laughs> Trisha, very soon you're going to be an ASMR channel too. You are not. Just wait. I, she slays the ASMR. No shade as well. Like, I love the ch I love the channel. Good for her. 10,000 calories. That was my favorite video of you ever was when you were all glammed up eating the breakfast post. Okay, you always talk about that one. It was so random. I love that video. So you look random. so gorgeous. Aw, thanks. Yeah, that was a good one. I love eating. Do you? <laughs> yeah, we could have done a mukbang. <laughs> what will we have mukbanged? Um, I don't know what you like. Do you like. say mukbang, mukbang? Do people correct you on it? Because they correct me on it all the time. Yeah, I say mukbang, but mukbang. is it mukbang? I don't know. Whenever I, I do it, I always get it wrong. So mukbang. I don't. It's my dog's name. So eating I show, I like much better, actually. Yeah. But mukbang was like a big thing like to type in for a minute. Have you ever, like, what's your favorite mukbang you've ever done? I mean, I love, like, Panda Express. Trisha wants this video to be over, and the reason is her body language. She has fully turned herself to Peter in an attempt to shun herself as much from the camera. Girl, just take control of the conversation and end it. What's your favorite? Did you get the orange chicken? I get orange chicken, Beijing beef, fried rice, and the noodles. I get all of it. So. My favorite? Okay, so I like the one of that. I mean, Peter's done a great job of keeping the conversation flowing, though, and I think he's done a really good job of it. But I also like the one where you did the dominoes and you literally ordered, like, all kinds of shit. It was, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, and you were, were a little intoxicated gal, but... Oh, yeah, I know. I see him really drunk. I don't think you were feel, You were feeling it. I love food. You are so, like, this is one of the things that I will say that I think, like, if people want to be successful on YouTube, like, y'all are professional. Thank you, Des. Like, getting up, glammed up. Every, I mean, everybody is, like, so, like, even Amelia, I was kind of surprised. Is like, this is, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. you know, like, everybody's so, like. I feel better, like, when I get, like, the hair makeup done, I'm like, okay, I can film some videos. So I was, I'm, like, lazy. I'm, like, oh, I feel like crap. My mom, back in the day, even when she was a hard drinker, like, when I was growing up, not until, like, later, but when I was growing up, she would get up and get ready for the day, and she would say, you know, in case something happens and somebody calls us, then we're ready to go. That is so true. And that's why I know, lately, because... For the past, like, year, I was just doing my makeup, and I felt like shit. I was like, oh, I don't like that, so now I'm trying to feel better. Okay, so you said in a video recently, and I'll kind of, like, tie it up with this. Yeah. You were like, do people do collabs anymore? Who did you ask that to? You were saying that, I think, maybe to, like, Jeffree Star or somebody. I was going like, to blog? Oh. Okay. I don't know. You were saying it to somebody, and you were like, do people really do, like, traditional collabs anymore? Nobody does. No, because they used to always be. I don't know when you start watching YouTube, but, like, when I first met Shane, that's how we met, because he was collabing with every everybody. Everybody would collab, right? Like, literally, people who are like, no, like, he, is, he collabed with everybody. Every day, he would do, like, three collabs. Like, it was crazy. And that's how we met. We started collabing, but, like, I don't think anybody does that anymore. Is there a YouTuber that you haven't met that you would love to meet? Oh, my God. I need them both to end this video. <laughs> Is there a celebrity you haven't met that you would love to meet? Um, no, no, not. Oh. <laughs> I really met him. You know I dance on stage with Britney Spears, right? Oh, I know. That's every I met Britney Spears, but she like did not care. Or she her like. She's kind of very aloof. Yeah. She's like, I'm like, I love you so much. <laughs> Mike is literally good in Carolina. So then you're like, <laughs> mental note, that's how I'm going to be at meet and greets. <laughs> I know, people laugh. You can do like an awkward, like, Britney pose. And I'm like, this. I'm like, eh. <laughs> if you could quit YouTube mm -hmm. and just do same. This is like watching a first date. The way that you put that, that makes... <laughs> this does. This is like a first date. Would you? I feel like I've observed a first date. Like if you could be a Britney Spears and just oh. put out music, tour, do videos, and this is a Tinder date. Stop you. No, because I love touring, but I got like really exhausting. I'm doing it again this year, but like that gets exhausting. I get so bored. That's why I can have a real job. Like I get bored. I get bored doing one thing. That's why I do different it's videos. Like the Trishy Land and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I like to do different things. Yeah. God, I can't hear the word Trishy Land without thinking of that damn Reddit. You know, I'm so like. Oh. I, I, I like to do it. What does your family think about the Trishy Land stuff? Uh, my sister, like, helps me run it. My yeah. mom, like, has taken my nude pictures. and then I, I love it. your mom and sister. I just have to tell you. Oh, uh, next time you're here, uh, you should hang out. I was going to reach out to your mom to do a video. Oh, I'd be one of her biggest fans. She would die. You could go to her house. She could cook for you. My mom, my mom's great. I love my mom. Okay. Yeah. Do that. Oh, my God. That would be... Uh, so I love her.
Sorry, I feel like we moved on from that real quick. She just went, yeah. My mom takes my nude photos. Okay. Sure. You want, yeah. I love her. Mm -hmm. She's awesome. You look so much like her. It it's really? so weird, like the pictures of like you guys, it's like I see so many similarities mm -hmm. between your family, but like in different ways. Really? That's yeah. interesting. I feel like we don't really look that. I think you saw my dad. I think you look more like You look like your dad a lot. He looks like the dimples. Why do you never show him on stuff? He's just like so awkward. He doesn't like to be. And then my brother's a hard, just, he's very, just very private. So my dad is like, he's been on some. But my dad's like, super, super private too. Yeah. He's never said he, like he doesn't want to be. Like he would if I opened up a camera. But like at the same time, like he lives his life privately. We should all know less about each other. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I wouldn't it's do that. It's better not to. Press Hilton has a sister too that he keeps really private. Yeah. She like lives out here and he's very. I met him when I was in Las Vegas last time. He's great. I love so, him. So uh, we're friends with, do you know Mike Sned Snedker? No. Oh, he sounds, yeah. Yeah, he's the guy that does, he was on the Kardashians and he. Um, yeah. He runs the Tao Entertainment Group and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's really nice and so super nice. And so he's really good friend. We interviewed him for a website years ago. And so he I need to know more about this website. He is really good friends with Perez. And so he reached yeah. out to us and he was like, Do you guys want to go see the Chippendale show or whatever it is? Right. Perez, like host it. Yeah. And I was like, I mean it was, Obviously. It's really corny. Okay. It's, like his, yeah. He, he was good in it, like Perez was, but like the guys, it's kind oh, of like I <laughs> Like, oh, I gotta edit that out. Stop. Okay. Can I just tell you also that's what I do? I have people cut it when I need to edit. Like, when I do Adam and Eve or like switching shots, I always cut it. Use code Adam50 for 50% off one item and free shipping in the US and Canada. Okay, this is. Yeah, I'm gonna miss my life. Miss okay. it. What's so weird is that when I have filmed with other people, they'll. I didn't mean to touch it. <laughs> oh, I didn't even feel <laughs> it. <laughs> like, what? Um, when I'm like filming with other like YouTubers, it's like they'll sit there and they'll do the camera and then they'll go, um, you know, like, hi, how are you today? I'm um, cut, edit. What I wanted to say was, really? and I'm like, that sounds like so much. They're work. like, "What do you do?" And I go, "Oh, I do one cut." Just say, yeah. I'm like, and if I say something, I usually just start over. People do like hand signals too, like this to cut. I was like to tell, like I was like, "What?" I'm like, just cut. "This is my one to my editor." Cut. <laughs> the editor being me. The camera. Do you love that song. I love that song. Like this is also dramatic for a YouTube video. What am I supposed to sit here and be like, "Cut, cut," <laughs> like? It's either this or that. <laughs> if I could turn back time. That's a different song, but I What's love it. What's happening? I didn't even What's happening? I didn't even see video that. Did you ever see that? About that one? I'm on a ship. I'm on a battleship in Long no, Beach. No, I didn't ever see that one. It's, that one cost me like $100,000, because I had to get a battleship to be on. And I had a hundred <laughs> sailors. Listen, you just need to call me. <laughs> we'll do the music videos, okay? okay? You can take me to Maui. <laughs> I'll charge you 10000 okay? <laughs> I mean, Peter's voice slayed there, honestly. Okay, I'm down. Come, come. It's fun. I love Maui. You just love it for the experience. That's what it is. Yeah, of course. I, mean, I that's make what no money off my music videos. Yeah, I don't make any money off those. I'm losing money, but I love them. What is, to do. <laughs> what's the question you would want to be asked in an interview that you nobody's ever asked you, like, on film or anything like that? Mm, how are you doing, Trisha? <laughs> how are you doing, Trisha? <laughs> um... Oh, she's winning the I don't give a fuck award at the end of this video. She wants to go to bat. <laughs> you know, today, good. Two days ago, not great. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I'm honestly like... Do you know like, that's okay? Yeah. I, I have been going to therapy. I, people are like, why don't you log on? Because like, I'm a fucking weirdo. We talked about there. that. She is. Yeah. Um. I, I, I've switched... Therapist three times, <laughs> but um, it's only because like it's like finding the right one is so hard. No, I think that's important. I think finding somebody that you feel comfortable mm -hmm. with. Because I'll give them a couple of chances. One percent get like. I want to see the ten minutes after they turn off the camera. They turned off the camera and Trisha went out. <laughs> I have like a story time about this one crazy nightmare therapist that I met at like ten o'clock at night in her like bougie Beverly Hills office. Oh shoot, you have to, you have to cut that out because I swear. I cut that out. Okay. But it doesn't matter. Well, because I, I, I said that word. I know. I'm like, oh, I'm so bad. Um. I don't care what you say about that, but yeah, no, I do. I, it helps. Even if the people are crazy, like the therapist I don't like, they still, it still helps talk about it. The, your therapists are crazy? Mm -hmm. I mean, some. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I have like a story time about like a couple that are I went to. Are you going to make it? Yeah, maybe it's not probably not even that interesting, but some of the stuff they would tell me, I'm like, uh, I think like, I'm gonna do a story. I think I'm gonna do a video when I get back about all my experiences with the Uber drivers because it's been surreal. Yeah, Uber. Especially There's crazy. been some really nice ones, and some of the things they tell me are just like crazy. Yeah, Uber drivers are insane out here, that's for sure. But 
My therapist, I had one that I met with, he was like, yeah. Oh my God, sorry, all the cuts. <laughs> this is your most cut video. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, but so the therapy is going well and you want people to know that. Yeah, I mean, I actually don't care if you love me, you're like, whatever. Let's wrap it up, guys. Isn't it, isn't it freeing when you get to the point and you're like, I don't really care if people believe it I mean, not. that like, is, I know the truth. Yeah. And it doesn't really matter. But it's like when people are like, um, oh, you just. Not the Dr. Dre therapy. It's like work out and just for Instagram and don't actually do the workouts. Like, okay, like, I don't really care. It's like so weird. I was like, all right. What is so funny about that is I recently got a trainer, right? Uh -huh. And my trainer has me do a lot of the things that you're doing, okay? I love it, Like, yeah. he was like, be, this is going to sound crude, but it's in no way. Like, he was standing behind me when I was, he was having me do these, um, like, hold on to the bike and do, um, what do you call them? Squats. Like squats. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting there and I was doing them and he came behind me and he, like, put his hand on my hip and he went, like that. And I was uh -huh. like... It hurts so bad. And he goes, this is how you're supposed to do a squat. Oh, really? But I watch you, and I'm like, it's so similar to what my trainer has me do. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, she's like, you're working out hard and stuff. Yeah. She's really good. I, I, I try. I mean, I'm obviously not going to go there and not work out. People are like, oh, you're just doing this for Instagram. I'm like, well, I want to like lose weight. Obviously, if I keep going to a trainer and not lose weight. You look like, great. You really, really do. Yeah. Thank you. I feel good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're doing well. Thank and, you know, you. it's okay if you're not at times. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, it's how it is on my YouTube. I'm, I'm, and usually I don't film when I'm not doing good lately. You literally are that good looking in person. You really are. Oh, I think so are you. I'm really shocked. Oh, you. I think you're tall. He said you're short, but I feel like you're taller. And she said you're so tall. And I'm like, I, I actually, you. I did my hair for Trisha today. I, so like, I, know. I know she loves a silver fox. But... I do. And I, I hate hats. I love that they opened this video with compliments and they're ending the video with compliments. I'm such a, like, anyone who wears hats, like, <laughs> anyone, like, Sean, Jason, anybody, I'm just like, stop, the hat. It's, it's awful. Well, I'm sorry. I know, why do you, why do you guys wear hats? But I'm the boy part today. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for letting She's also wearing a fucking hat. Let me come over. Ah, this is so much this fun. Is fun. I, I love you so much. Thanks. Just, you, know. like, literally, like, made this, I mean, meeting Amelia, meeting all these people I came out uh, here with before, but, like, this is just a dream come true. Yeah. For sure. You have to take something. <laughs> I was giving okay. you something from my so much Well, crap. I will leave. Oh, God, I'm gutted. It's like... <laughs> Uh, what happened? This is why you can't be in the kitchen floor in Trisha's kitchen. What I was happened? like this and I'm all gutted. I know. Um, oh, me? Okay. Always? I'll show what I... It'll be a little secret. Okay. I'll show it in the vlog or something like that. Okay. So you can watch my vlogs what I take. But Okay. Two questions. Number one... Three things. Number one, how did they sit on the kitchen floor so long? That is so sore. Number two, I need to know more about Peter's journalistic past. Number three... What did Trisha give Peter? They're per box, yes. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this with me. I hope you're all doing well. I really was glad to find this. Sorry, I needed to burp. Sorry. <laughs> Shit me for being real. Um, Not Trisha's mom taking her nids. Yeah, we're not going to unpack that. We're just... Let's not unpack that. <laughs> Is my tongue bleeding? Oh my god, it is. This drink is blue. Anyways, um, I will see you all very soon. Bye, Madonna. Welcome to Manchester. All right, bye, guys.